Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to show you how to do the back carry with the Love Sakara Bloom Carrier. So this is their Scout Carrier. It has leather shoulder straps. It is a linen body. It has rings for the waistband. It has a detachable sun hood. I have it clipped on here right now just in case she falls asleep. I like to bring it up so that her head is more supported. So I just leave this on here like this. So this is a one size carrier, so it'll fit baby seven to 45 pounds. So basically I could fit both of my, I could fit my toddlers in this still because they haven't even reached 45 pounds yet. So I want to show you guys how to do a back carry with this because I know getting the baby back there can be kind of confusing. So it's helpful to have someone actually show you physically how to do it because I've been doing it for, she's my third baby, but the second baby I've worn on my back like really consistently, like every single day. So we've had a lot, lot of practice with this and we've got it done really well. So I wanted to show you how I do it and hopefully it's helpful. So let's get right, get right into this video. So the first couple times you do this, it is helpful just for peace of mind if you do it kneeling on your bed or you do it standing over the couch. So if they fall, they fall into something soft. I did this the first couple times. I never had them fall. It was just nice knowing in case they did, they wouldn't fall on the hard floor because this, it takes a little bit to get the hang of and be really comfortable with. So right here is where their butt and legs will go. So this is what you can adjust for if they're getting bigger. This goes right here from knee to knee. You want it to go just a little bit behind their knee so that it helps support their hips properly. So you can kind of hold this up to your baby and pre-measure it before you put them on. Okay, so you're gonna take, here's the inside of the carrier. You can see the tag right here. This is gonna go on their back. You're gonna take this and you're gonna put this on your back with the inside of the carrier facing out. So you're gonna take this long piece and you're gonna thread it through these rings, just like this. And then you're going to open them and thread it back through the first ring. And then you're going to make sure this is centered on your back. And then you can tighten this to whatever is comfortable. So this feels, I'm actually going to lower this a little bit. So that's just right above my hip bones. Ben, you want to go back on my back? You poor little thing. She really wants to go up there and take a nap. All right, so now we have our baby. So we are ready to put them in. So I always start on my right hip, going around the back. I'm right-handed, so that's probably why this is easier for me. But it really doesn't matter. You could do it either way. Oh, it's okay. You're gonna be so loud for this video. So you're gonna take, you're gonna support their butt with this hand while you take this arm over their head and then back over to this side. And then you're supporting them with that hand. Then you take this hand and kind of bounce them over on your back. So now she's back there. I've got a hold of her with both hands. She's not gonna fall off, even though she likes to try to sit up. And then you're going to use a hand and put this up over their back. You wanna make sure it comes up between their legs, not, not catching one of their feet. So you're gonna put it over an arm. You're gonna find this side. Put your arm through this one. And then, on both shoulders. All right, and her her arms under this, this is good. If her arm was over the top of it on this side, you'd wanna bring it under that. Then you do the chest strap, put it through those, put it back through the first one, tighten it. All right, that feels good. There's these adjustments here. You can do looser or tighter, just whatever is most comfortable. You can tell by what's comfortable on your shoulders. You also don't want them so loose that your baby's like really slumped over and their spine has a big curve in it. You don't want it to hurt their back. So this looks really good. She looks upright enough, but still has a natural curve in her back. You can see her knees are higher than her hips. These, this adjustment that I showed you at the beginning, I didn't have it far enough out. It's supposed to be about right here. So next time I take her out, I'm gonna just loosen it a little bit and, and put it and push it back out a little bit because this is not quite close enough to her knees. It's almost there. It's not that far off. It's just not. It's just not quite good enough. <laughs> so a couple things you want to keep in mind with baby wearing on your back is that you want to be able to see their nose. Now you'll have to go up next to a mirror to see them, but you want to make sure their nose isn't like stuck in the fabric when, especially check a couple times when they're sleeping. We've kind of done this enough that I don't need to check anymore. I can just tell 
I can feel her breathing back there and I can tell if she's okay or not. But especially when you're just getting used to it, make sure you check plenty. So her nose is out, she can see. She, when she falls asleep, I'll take these and you kind of lift them up over like this. And then you can uh, attach them to this thing in the front. And then that holds her head up, but you can see right, right here, there's like little air holes. And this thing is really light and breathable. So she can totally still breathe through that. It'll just help her head not flop back. Cause she's just getting tall enough that if she falls asleep, I feel like her head won't go back. I wasn't having to do that before cause the back of that is just high enough that when they're like six to eight months, it might hold their head up just fine. But then after that you use the sun, sun flap to hold their heads up. Another thing you want to keep in mind, you want their legs in an M position. So you want to be able to go from their heels to their knees down to their butt. So you want it to be in a subtle M position. You don't want their knees like crazy high up, but this little, this little bit of an M position is just what you want to see. That's going to help it be a lot more gentle on their hips. And it'll help it be even more in M position when I fix this adjustment here and put it closer to her knees. So that is how you get them on your back. Now let's show you how to get them off real quick. So, because that's an important step too. So you're basically just going to reverse your steps. You're going to take this out of here like this. You kind of get it off your shoulders just a little bit and you're going to reach behind there and support your baby with, I'm supporting him with, with this hand. And then I'm going to reach under here on their butt so that I can take this arm out. And then now it's, now it's totally off her and she's just hanging out on my back. I'm going to bring her back down my right side like this. And then bring her up to the front. Just like that. Just like that. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how to put your baby in the bag carry on the Love Sakura Bloom Carrier. I really love this carrier. It is so nice and comfortable, especially on my hips. It just feels really good on my shoulders. At first it was a little stiff up here on this leather part, but now it's softened up even just after a few times wearing it that it's a lot more comfortable now. This is a lot more comfortable on my chest than those plastic buckles that kind of dig in. So I really love that it has a lot of leather and natural fibers. I love the linen. I love the color. I think it's the bourbon color on their website. And this is the Scout Carrier. So I will link this one down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. And I will see you next time. Bye.